Hello everyone and today I wanted to give you a really quick lesson on how to make your beats sound more exciting and more energetic. I've seen many many producers asking me this question all the time. How do I make my beats sound better? Why does my beat sound so bad? Why are my samples so bad? Why this? Why that? They're making up these excuses that don't exist. Basically I'm going to show you a really simple beat that everybody is familiar with. Many of you might recognize how this might sound ready, but let's listen to this real quickly. Now, I think this is probably the first beat that every single producer learns how to make in FL Studio. This is the first beat usually, you know, people teach you at school if you learn music production. I know when I taught music production in my school, I always started off with this beat because it's the most easiest thing. But let me tell you one thing. What is wrong with this beat? Let's listen to this one more time and I want you to answer this question. What is the problem of this beat and why does it sound so dull and so robotic and not exciting? Well, one of the reasons is that every single note is on the same velocity, the panning is the same, it's exactly on point. All of the notes are completely on grid as you can see now that is okay for this kick right that's okay but what about the clap this hat and this hat well we can change that all the time there's a lot of things you can do with it and i'm going to show you a couple of ways so for example let's see what we can do with the clap as you can see it's perfectly on the grid right there for example, we can go to the miscellaneous functions here and adjust the shift here. Now, what does the shift do? Well, let's check it out. As you can see, it shifts the note a little bit. You cannot see it in the piano roll here, but it does shift it a tiny notch. Now we can keep that right there. And we can go to the piano roll and adjust it even more. For example, we can go to the grid and click none and we can maybe move it a little bit more. It does not have to be on grid all the time. Now we can always adjust the velocity. We can make it a little bit quieter here. I adjust it really majorly right now so you see the difference. The velocity is basically the volume of the sample. Now velocity is great when it comes down to making your sample sound more human. Because people do not play every single note exactly at the same volume, the same velocity. This is what we're trying to mimic. So let me just put it right there. And what we can do from here is we can just simply add it to the mixer here and add, for example, a delay or something. Just experiment with different VSTs, different plugins, and surely you'll create something unique. For example, right now it sounds like this. We can switch it to the ping pong mode. Let's turn down the volume a little bit. And this is a really cool thing, the panning. For example, I want to pan it to the left. I do this all the time. I either pan to the left or the right, doesn't matter. As you can see, it goes both ears. I'm going to leave it at the left. And we're going to adjust the time in here. For example, if we go up here, it goes slower in. I'm a fan of the two-step here. And now if we listen to this. We can turn down the volume a little bit. And already it sounds more interesting than it was. Alright, so we can go to the hi-hat here. This is the typical hi-hat sequence. Again, what is the problem in this? Well, 
every single note is on grid again everything's at the same velocity it just sounds too electronic too robotic now what we can do is is a cool thing if you go to main here we can click control a actually let me just select it like that or control it doesn't matter and you can click alt plus r and fl is going to bring out the piano roll randomizer for you pen roll randomizer is great on making cool unique sequences for example you can click on the pen here and just kind of move this uh, random pattern around and it's going to generate you random sequences of velocity so let's see how that sounds as you can see If so, if you're not really creative with velocity, you can just come to the pen roll randomizer and just click a couple of knobs and it's going to do it for you. Same thing, we can go to uh, the velocity here. And even the pitch. Very cool and of course we can put it to the mixer and make it sound even cooler for example we can add in a little reverb on here to make it more atmospheric just like that and now let's head over to our last hat let's put that to a different mixer track so it doesn't combine the effects together all right same thing we can either adjust the velocity or the pitch the panning doesn't matter right now i'm going to pull up the piano roll randomizer again and i'm going to adjust the panning and the velocity I'm gonna adjust it manually here a little bit because that kind of out of control cool and we can add in a delay now I'm gonna show a cool technique here uh, if we add this delay without the panning here hold on put the ping pong set that to four and let's turn down the volume of the delay Let's turn down the steps. It's kind of clashing. A cool plugin is the stereo enhancer here. And from here, we can create a really unique stereo effect. For example, I can pan it to the right side or the left side. As you can see, it really goes to both ears. Now let's compare that without any stereo enhancer on it. And with. As you can see, it sounds much more unique now. We can adjust the different panning here, of course. And the volume. now all of this combined together we have what was a really boring sequence and now it is really cool unique versatile more human-like beat sequence All right, guys, thank you for watching. I hope this video was informative enough for you, and I hope you learned something new. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next one, guys. Peace.